Hi, I'm Krista Namdahl and welcome back to my studio and channel. In this video, I want to show you some tips and tricks for making one of the projects from my brand new book, 52 Crochet Gifts. And in this video, I'll show you some of the tips for getting started. The Harlow charms are not only a fabulous housewarming gift, but also a fantastic way to practice fine gauge crochet. Make each style in several colors and let your guests choose their favorite charm. These charms are also interchangeable for earrings, bag tags, or other accessorizing possibilities. I used Be So Fine yarn and a 2.75 millimeter crochet hook to make these adorable little charms. Let's get started. These adorable motifs can be used for all sorts of accessories, including hair clips or ponytail holders, or even an accessory to a bag. We start by tying our yarn to our crochet hook and chain five. Slip stitch to the fifth chain from your hook to form a ring. Chain three. Three treble crochets in the ring. A treble crochet is yarn over your hook twice. Insert your hook in the ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We'll do that again, yarn over twice. Insert your hook in the ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That one more time. Chain three and slip stitch in the ring. We'll do that whole process one more time. Chain three, three treble crochets in the ring. chain three and slip stitch in the ring chain two three double crochets in the ring a double crochet is yarn over your hook insert your hook in the ring yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two do that two more times chain two and slip stitch in the ring and we'll do that whole process one more time. Chain two, three double crochets in the ring. Chain two and slip stitch in the ring. And then we'll cut our yarn and fasten off. Okay, we're starting to see a butterfly, so we have two of the larger wings and then two of the smaller wings. <clears throat> now I'm going to take a small amount of black yarn. Well, maybe about a foot or so. Give ourselves some room to work with it. And I'm gonna thread this onto my yarn needle. And pierce through the stitches and the ring in between the two smaller wings and in between the two larger wings. And then we'll wrap this around, going from top to bottom or bottom to top, either way, it doesn't matter. But what we're trying to do is on the outside, make a vertical strip of the black yarn, which will look like the body of the butterfly. So you wrap that around several times. And then on the back side of the work, we'll tie our tails together. And then you want to weave in your loose ends. Follow the link in the video description to download the pattern and get all the other extra information for turning this into a charm. For the bow tie motif, we will tie our yarn to our crochet hook, chain five, 
slip stitch to the fifth chain from our hook to form a ring. Chain three, treble crochet in the ring, yarn over twice, insert your hook in the ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, three double treble crochets in the ring, yarn over three times, insert your hook in the ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. We'll do that two more times. Then a treble crochet in the ring, yarn over twice. Chain three and slip stitch in the ring. And we'll do that whole process one more time. Chain three, treble crochet in the ring. Three double trebles in the ring. treble crochet in the ring, chain three, and slip stitch in the ring. And we fasten off, weave in your loose ends. Follow the link in the video description to download the pattern to learn how to turn this motif into a charm. For the flower motif, we're going to tie our yarn to our crochet hook, chain five, slip stitch to the fifth chain from your hook to form a ring, chain three, double crochet in the ring, yarn over your hook, insert your hook in the ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, chain three, and slip stitch in the ring. And that's our first petal made. We'll do that five more times. Chain three, double crochet in the ring, chain three, and slip stitch in the ring. Because we're working in the ring and not in individual chains, we're able to slide our work around as we go. So that's our second petal made. We want to do four more. At the end of the sixth petal, you want to cut your yarn and fasten off. And that's what the flower motif should look like. Follow the link in the video description to download the pattern to learn how to turn this flower motif into a charm. The star motif begins with tying our yarn to our crochet hook and working a chain five. Slip stitch to the fifth chain from your hook to form a ring. Chain one and work 10 single crochets in the ring. Single crochets, insert your crochet hook in the ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Insert your hook in the ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Two single crochets are made. We need eight more for a total of 10. what the end of round one should look like. You want to slip stitch to the first single crochet at the beginning of the round to join. Round two begins with a chain one and single crochet in that same stitch. In the next stitch we're going to work two double crochets, yarn over your hook, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, second double crochet in the same stitch, now we're going to work a treble crochet in that same stitch as well. Yarn over twice, insert your stitch and in, insert your hook in the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, chain three pico, which is chain three, 
then slip stitch into the third chain from your hook. And then in that same stitch now we'll work two more double crochets. and single crochet in the next stitch. And that's what our, our first star point should look like. We're going to repeat this all the way around. So in the next stitch, we'll work two double crochets, one treble crochet, one chain three pico, and two more double crochets. So there's the two double crochets, treble crochet, chain three pico, and two double crochets. Single crochet in the next stitch. And there's the second point of our star. We'll keep repeating this all the way around. The end of this round, you should have a five pointed star. At the end of the round, slip stitch to the first single crochet at the beginning of the round to join. And we'll fasten off. And that's what this adorable little star motif should look like at the end. Follow the link in the video description to download the pattern and learn how to turn this adorable motif into a charm. The heart motif begins with tying your yarn to your crochet hook. Chain five. Slip stitch to the fifth chain from your hook to form a ring. Chain three. Six double crochets in the ring. Yarn over, insert your hook in the ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, that's one double crochet, five more. Treble crochet in the ring, yarn over twice, insert your hook in the ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Chain three pico. Six double crochets in the ring. Chain three and slip stitch in the ring. Fasten off. And this is what your heart shaped motif should look like. Follow the link in the video description to download the pattern and learn how to turn this adorable heart motif into a charm. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about anything we talked about today, please feel welcome to leave them for me in the comments. You can find links to everything I showed you today in the video description below. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you in the next video.